็ EP นี้ผมจะเปลี่ยนสกินตัวละครนิดหน่อยนะครับถ้าชอบชุดนี้หรือชุดเดิมก็คอมเมนต์บอกไว้หน่อยนะครับจะได้เปลี่ยนให้The alliance of Sun Quan and Liu Bei was victorious at Chibi. The tantalizing prize of total control slips from Cao Cao's fingers, and he is forced to return in defeat to Xu Chang, where he works to recover. Now is the time to chip away at Cao Cao's overwhelming advantage. Sun Quan makes preparations to expand from Jiandong. Liu Bei's strategist will also not waste this opportunity. In a move to win Liu Bei his own country, Zhuge Liang quietly begins to act. The Wu forces are marching towards the north of Jing Province. Zhuge Liang will make his move now. While the men of Wu are preoccupied by Cao Cao, he plans to secure Jing Province. We will sneak in behind them, but speed will be of the essence. If you want speed, leave it to me. I'll sprint into Jing Province and clean up the enemy. Zhou Zhang, it is not enough to simply fight. The only way to claim Jing Province will be to take it down and secure it for ourselves. Well, yeah, that's the point, right? But that will make Master Liu Bei an invader. That's the issue here. It will go against the values of virtue and benevolence which Master Liu Bei has always stood for. Ah, but you're forgetting. We have Master Liu Qi. So the plan is to present Master Liu Biao's son, Master Liu Qi, as the rightful successor to these lands. That will give us the justification we need to claim Jing Province. See, you get it. Zhuge Liang's nabbed himself a smart wife. I hear Zhou Yu and his men are headed for Jiangling. Isn't it about time for us to make our move too, Zhuge Liang? Yes, it is time for us to seize the four counties of Jin Province. This battle is to ensure that Master Liu Bei has a land to call his own. We must forget about our relationship with Wu for the time being. We must move swiftly and with caution. I am counting on all of you. Swiftly? Sounds like it's my time to shine. I'll take all four counties in one fell swoop. No, it will take too much time and effort to claim all four counties one after the other. I think we should divide our forces and take them simultaneously. Oh, I see. Master Zhao Yun is correct. There is no need for you to claim all four counties yourself. Once you have made as much progress as you think you can, please come back here and report to me. Wei and Wu are preoccupied with each other. This is our chance to seize the four counties of Jin Province. Fei's unit is running low on provisions. We have to deliver them to Uling. But what if the supply troops come under attack on the way? Oh, I'm so nervous. You, you'll provide an escort for the supply unit? Oh, I'm so incredibly grateful.
Shabby! Provisions! At last! I've been waiting forever! Okay, time to strike back! May this victory bring us closer to our goals! Astounding job! You will be a valuable asset in battles to come! Forces from Wu Ling. <laughs> Come, men of Leo Bay. I will face you. If you make it through the forest alive, that is. Now, take defensive positions. Okay. 
Okay, time to move. If the enemy shows up, they can regret ever being born. Precious wounding has fallen to the enemy. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. May this victory bring us closer to our goals. Fine work. You're not too shabby. the defenses. We will not lose to the likes of Leo Bay. of Liu Bei. What does he have that I do not? May this victory bring us closer to our goal. Yes, your deeds will go down in legend. As usual, Master Zhao Yun, you give me goosebumps. Everyone to defend this area. How long defends we young? This place will be your graveyard. Oh. Look 
Look at these defenses. Even Liu Bei's forces will never get through here. They broke through our defensive line? This is bad. Weyong is in peril. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. May this victory bring us closer to our goal. Truly impressive. I won't have any enemies left to defeat. Yes, your deeds will go down in legend. What are Liu Bei's forces doing here? Have they realized we're here? Being defeated like... I have no intention of fighting any longer. I will... cede this land of Guiyong to Lord Liu Bei. That is more than we could have ever wanted. It will allow us to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. I will have a lavish banquet prepared to welcome you all. Please, come right this way. What? May this victory bring us closer to our goals. I am impressed with your skills in battle. I've heard that Master Zhao Yun is incredibly strong. Is this a good idea? All this trickery is worthless. Ah, sorry. I didn't say a thing. Well, well. Liu Bei's forces. We'll prepare at once. Just you wait. Please, just relax. There's nothing to worry. <laughs> You're like fish in a barrel. Everyone, attack at once! So the surrender was nothing but a ruse. But it will take more than this to keep me down. I will break through. Our archers atop the mountain have already been defeated. Then, my plan is ruined. My plan has been thwarted. Zhao Yun is not a man to be underestimated. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. <laughs> Truly impressive! I won't have any enemies left to defeat! <laughs> a success! Great! <laughs> you are unstoppable! Forces of Liu Bei, please lend me your aid. My father, Liu Du, is missing. My father tried to surrender to you, but he was driven off and is now missing. 
Many in Ling Ling don't wish to fight. My father can't fight them off. I think he went that way. I'm not sure if it was him, though. I saw him over there. I think it's who you're looking for. are a member of Leo Bei's army. Normally I would be glad to see you. But I have nothing I can offer you. What? You've spoken to my son. I see. You want me to help you. If it will stop the unnecessary spilling of blood, then I would be happy to help. I hope you will protect my soldiers and people in return. Success! Great! Huh. Astounding job. You will be a valuable asset in battles to come. in him. I will defend Ling Ling with my life. Reporting. 
The siege weaponry unit has retreated. What? Why would they do something so foolish? What about our strategy? <laughs> Lingling belongs to Liu Bei. Yeah, I can't believe this. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. May this victory bring us closer to our goals. See how things are going in the capture of the four counties of Jing province. We've taken Shangsha, I see. With a governor like that, I bet the people will be glad of change. I see Uling's ours. It's a very lovely and verdant county. What about Ling Ling? Have we taken that? Taking the castle high up in the mountains is a commendable effort. Guiyang has been secured. The governor there is a two-faced man. Scary, isn't he? The plan to secure the four counties of Jing province has gone well. Master Liu Bei finally has the land he needs. You have claimed all four counties of Jing province by yourself? It is most heartening to have a magnificent warrior such as yourself in the ranks of my army. Unfortunately, perhaps due to the fatigue of constant battle, the governor of Jin province, Master Liu Qi, has fallen gravely ill. 
Master Liu Bei. We will need you to show your support for Master Liu Qi by governing the land in his stead. I'm not capable of much, I fear, but for Master Lu Qi and Jing Province, I will do what I can. Jin Province is but the beginning. The land we must truly claim lies further afield. It is with great regret that I must inform you that Master Liu Qi has passed away. Now that we have lost the rightful successor to the stewardship of Jin Province, Master Sun Quan is sure to stake his own claim to rule the territory. It was the Wu forces which defeated Cao Cao's mighty army. I suppose that will be the justification for his claim that Wu should lead the Jin Province now that Cao Cao has let it go. They used the same argument in the past. And we promised them that we would return the four counties in the event of the death of Master Liu Qi. However, we cannot afford to lose this land now. I am afraid we must reject Master Sun Quan's assertion once more. However, it seems certain that unilaterally claiming the four countries and then denying their claims to the land will create a rift between us. Your plan to divide the land in three was prefaced on us being able to ally ourselves with Master Sun Quan in order to defeat Cao Cao. This places it in jeopardy. I can't see Sun Quan and Cao Cao joining forces, but we can't really afford to be too stubborn, or you never know what they'll do. First things first, we need to grab Yi Province as soon as we can. But the governor of Yi province is Master Liu Zhang. I reckon Master Liu Bei will be pretty reluctant to attack a member of his own clan. There is no fear on that front. I anticipate that Master Liu Zhang will approach Master Liu Bei of his own accord. Master Liu Zhang will? What do you mean? You will see soon enough. But for now, we must address the concern expressed by Wu. Master Lu Su has sent me a letter expressing his desire to meet for a discussion of the matter. I will head to Shenyang. just no end to this. You're saying you will return Jin province to us? Jin was left to Liu Bei by the former master Liu Biao. It makes absolutely no sense to argue about returning it. Mm. Jugo Lian, I had thought that given the chance we could work well together. And that is why. There is not a lot of benefit to Wu if your allies are homeless wanderers. Hmm. Master Liu Bei needs his own land. To do that, he cannot lose Jin at this time. Hmm. Well then, until that time, we'll lend you Jin province in the four districts. This province of Jin will someday become the center of this chaotic war. Oh, 
Oh, Zhuge Liang, there you are. This is... Ah, you must be the envoy from Master Liu Zhang. The Sleeping Dragon knows all. I see. I suppose you also know why it is that I am here. I imagine that Master Liu Zhang wishes to form an alliance with Master Liu Bei. Then you would imagine correctly. The area around Yi Province is positively replete with threats these days. Cao Cao is currently attacking Lian Province. But once he has secured that, he's sure to turn his attention to Yi. To the north, Zhang Lu of Hanzhong, devotee of the Way of the Celestial Masters, has his eye firmly fixed on our territory. And that's why you want Master Liu Bei's help. But do you not fear that Master Liu Bei's strength will be insufficient to keep Yi Province safe? It's really starting to get annoying, the way you can see through everything. Cao Cao is well known as a master of war, while Hong Zhong is filled with mighty warriors who have moved from Liang province. Whereas Liu Zhong has spent his days hiding in Yi province and has never fought a battle of any consequence at all. But despite that, he doesn't think of a plan until it's too late. You really think a man like that, who only thinks about himself, can work with Master Liu Bei to fight off the enemy? No, he has no faith in Master Liu Bei's strength, and will only repay any kindness with betrayal. I hate him, to be quite honest. Does anyone here honestly believe a man like that has what it takes to lead his people? Master Fa Zheng, what are you saying? I'll tell you the real reason I came here. Master Li Obey, I want you to seize Yi Province. You are the man who claimed Jin Province. I think you have what it takes to lead Yi Province a lot more effectively than Liu Zhang ever did. What? You mean to ask me to attack Master Liu Zhang? Like I said, he'll only repay kindness with betrayal. I can't stand men like that. The reason I served Liu Zhang wasn't out of any loyalty to the man. It was to keep Yi Province safe. But now I realize getting rid of him would be much better for the land. Fa Zhang is right. It's the people of Yi Province who are in the greatest need right now. Their leader cannot protect them from the myriad threats on all sides. You have to rescue them from this hell. But... Master Liu Zhang is my clansman. I cannot attack him. Master Liu Bei, do you remember the question I asked you when I joined you? I told you that the path I create may bring great sorrow. I asked you if you could live with the contradictions and torment that would create. Yes, and I answered that question. I told you I could if the path led to the land I dream of. I understand what you all are saying. Now is the moment when I must overcome the sorrow I feel and fight. We will march upon the land of Bashu. Fa Zheng, I will need you to lead us as far as Chengdu in Yi province. You've only just met me. And you want me to lead your vanguard? You're confident I won't betray you? Master Li Obey, you're even kinder and more trusting than the rumors say. But now that you've given me this task, I won't let you down. Yi province will be yours. You see, I'm the kind of man who repays kindness with loyalty. Oh, Master Machao, Master Madai, welcome. Your fame extends well beyond your homeland. Master Liu Bei, 
I would ask you to explain why you have invited us here, when we are officers of Zhang Lu. I will speak to that. Master Machao, we would like to ask you to join us in our battle against Liu Zhong. You mean you want us to betray Master Zheng Lu? I could never do something like that. It goes against every principle of justice. You must excuse me. Please wait. Master Machao, you must consider carefully the conditions of your current employment. Ever since your Lord Father was slain by Cao Cao, you have burned with a desire to avenge him. But, following your defeat at Tonggate, you have been treated poorly by Zhang Lu in Hongzhong. Are you happy to continue to serve a master who will not give you the opportunity for the revenge which you seek? Hmm... So what? You're saying that if we serve Master Liu Bei, we'll be able to have our revenge on Cao Cao? By abusing the authority of the Han court, Cao Cao is only exacerbating the chaos which pervades this land. We intend to slay him in the name of virtue. Master Liu Bei desires the territory of Ba Shu, so that it may serve as a base from which to build a land of his own. Will you help us achieve that goal? Virtue? I take it this is all part of Master Liu Bei's grand ambition, then. Yes. I want to ease the suffering of the people, and create a land in which everyone can live in peace and security. Will you please lend me your strength to help make that happen? Very well. You are a man of virtue and justice indeed, to seek not only to slay Cao Cao, but to build a land of peace. My righteous spirit has been reignited by your honor. If the young master says he's in, then so am I. I look forward to working with you all. Oh, thank you. I will rely on your courage and indomitable spirit. As you know, Yi Province is a dangerous region, studded with mountain ranges and threaded with treacherous passes. Liu Zhong will never expect us to attack from the steep mountains. That's why I'd like the main unit to take the mountain pass to the north. The other units will approach from the east and the south, giving them nowhere to run. Then I would like you and Pang Tong to share command of the main unit. Well, I'd prefer to take a flatter route myself, if I could. I'm afraid my horse can't run anymore after all the frantic galloping she did all over Jing province. And it would be a little tough on my old legs to trek those mountain paths. If you need a horse, then I am happy to loan you mine. Hex Mark is a fine steed with experience in many a battle. He will have no problem in the mountains, I guarantee you. Mm. I would very much like you to take on this key role. I suppose if you put it like that, I can't get out of it. Then I'll take you up on the offer of that horse. Have we settled matters yet? The longer we take discussing things, the more likely the enemy is to notice our movement. If everyone's ready, then we should get going. Your new land awaits, Mr. Leo Bay. This battle is not an honorable one, but it must be fought nonetheless. We must claim victory and seize E Province.
as they march on Shenzhou. You think you can take down the land I protect? <laughs> you will soon learn the error of your ways, Greenhorn. to defend this area. Justice has fallen before me. You're better than I thought. Good job. to drive onward to Fu Castle. May this victory bring us closer to our goals. We're doing an excellent job.
This area belongs to us now. This area belongs to us now. now. This area belongs to us now. to us now. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. You will never take Baju. Your little march ends here. Impressive intensity. Stop me if you can! Kingdom! 
cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. What incredible bravery. I'm with you. You make man my life as you see fit. You were really impressive out there. If you're willing to help us, we'll be happy to have you. Okay. May this victory bring us closer to our goals. Truly impressive. I won't have any enemies left to defeat. Listen up! We will seize Jiang Yang. Come! This area belongs to us now! to us now. area belongs to us now. single enemy through. Why is Lord 
have Yan Yan among the enemy. If he's changed sides, he must Even Lord Young Young has changed sides? Yet, we still have to fight! of Liu Bei, you will never take Jiang Yang. Fear the dragon's roar! We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Officers have surrendered to the enemy, then this fight is over. Closer to our goal. We're doing an excellent job. Belongs to us now.
battlefield! to us now. Chen do so badly that you would attack your own flesh and blood? Leo Bay, have you no shame? in the path of justice has fallen before him. Fine work! You're not too shabby! Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. 
You're doing an excellent job. C curse you! You are not worthy what? to take Chengdu. Master Liu Zhang, forgive me. I have made my decision. For the sake of the land I dream of, I must overcome my sorrow and fight. Everyone, put your weapons away. Chengdu is now under the command of Liu Bei. I trusted you. I wanted to form an alliance with you. And yet, you reject my offer and you spit in my face. I don't see anything virtuous or benevolent about that. You're just the same as Zhao Zhao, Zhan Lu, and the rest. You just want war. War! War! And what was it you were going to do when you knew Zhao Zhao and Zhan Lu were after your precious Yi province, huh? You had the natural defenses of the mountains, yet you neglected to make any military preparations at all to take advantage of them. No matter how often we warned you, how often we exhorted you to take action, you refused. You reap what you sow, and now you have the audacity to complain about it? Who do you think you are? Ugh. Master Leo Bei was receptive enough to listen to what I had to say, even though he didn't know if I was his friend or his foe. And even though he knew it was a dishonorable act, he attacked you, his clansmen, because he knew it was the right thing to do for his dream of a land of virtue and benevolence. He's ten times the man you are. It's painfully clear which one of you is more qualified to lead Yi province. Master Liu Zhang, I am well aware of the magnitude and the impropriety of my actions. But despite that, I knew I had no choice. I want to build a land in which no one knows sorrow. No. I pledge that I will build that land. To that end, I ask that you allow me to lead Yi province in your stead. Very well. I will not forget the promise you have made here today. I charge you with the solemn task of bringing peace to Yi province. Ah, the wine tastes even better than usual tonight. Now you're finally able to deal with Cao Cao on level terms, brother. Congratulations, Master Liu Bei. Your long-cherished dream of a land of benevolence, it will now become a reality. It would be even better if Guan Yu were here, but... That cannot be helped. Guan Yu has been entrusted with the vital task of keeping Jing province safe. But I too would like the three of us to drink a toast together once more, just as we did in the Peach Garden. I am sure that day will come soon. Yeah! If we keep this up and crush Wei, then Jing province will soon be safe and secure. Then we can call Guan Yu here and have a huge party to celebrate! <laughs> I can only hope such a day will come. No, I believe that it will. I have only come this far because you all had faith. Master Leo Bei, I have just heard some terrible news. Pang Tong has been struck by an arrow in battle. I am afraid the wound has killed him. No... Pang Tong? This is terrible! It seems the enemy forces mistook him for you, my lord. I imagine they saw your horse and assumed you were the one riding him. Oh... If only I hadn't insisted that he borrow my horse. I'm so sorry, Pang Tong. Forgive me. The loss of Pang Tong is a serious blow to our hopes. However, 
Now is not the time to stop our progress. I know. We must continue onwards, for Pang Tong's sake as well as our own. Watch over me, Pang Tong. From this land of Yi, I swear that I will walk the road to peace. <laughs>